Look at him laying down. If anyone knows how to lay down, it's Leo. <laughs> today we're gonna practice self-care, I've decided. Today's Friday, I don't have any classes today, and I thought I would vlog my weekend. It's currently like one, no. I think it's like two. This weekend is gonna be uh, devoted to making myself feel and look a little bit better. I also wanna read a lot this weekend. The first one is probably Either Or by Alif Batuman. This is a sequel to The Idiot, and I started this a few days ago. I'm currently on page 179. I'm loving it so far. So fucking good. It's a lot more rambly. Like, The Idiot is very rambly and goes off on a ton of different stupid side tangents about like crazy historical facts that that like have nothing to do with the plot and um there's even more of that in this <laughs> the plot is like out the window and then i'm also reading fuck what the hell's going on here crooked kingdom which is like the second one too oh my god this is like a I read Six of Crows for my like TikTok book video, fully thinking that I wasn't gonna like it because it's like YA fantasy. You shouldn't judge a book by its genre because I loved that book. I wanna finish that this weekend too. I also think that I wanna read Play It As It Lays by Joan Didion because today is September the 9th. The yeah. The Queen died yesterday. And I think this is a very summery book. I wanna read this before it starts getting before the seasonal depression hits. It's set in Hollywood, Las Vegas, and the Mojave. I don't know, I've been seeing this word a lot. The Mojave Desert. I think it's Mojave, Mojave Desert. I don't know. I think it's just kind of classic Joan Didion. I believe it's fiction. It's about some woman in a car driving down the highway. I have no idea. <laughs> I also want to read Sea of Tranquility by Emily St. John Mendo. I read recently The Glass Castle by her. Someone commented, they told me that this is like kind of a sequel. There's a theme, there's a theme here, there's a theme to that book, The Glass Castle. Or like they're somehow connected. Somebody said it would make more sense to read this after you read The Glass Castle. I don't know. I don't understand how that's true. I guess we'll figure it out. They sound like two very different stories because The Glass Castle is about like a glass hotel. Is that what it's- no, fuck. I recently also read The Glass Castle, but I'm trying to say The Glass Hotel. I recently read The Glass Hotel by Emily St. John Mando. I feel like nothing I just said makes sense now because I just said The Glass Castle a whole bunch, which is a book that I also just read. But The Glass Hotel is about a glass hotel on Vancouver Island, which is where I kind of- I don't live there, but I live- I've been there a bunch. <laughs> This is about a few different characters, but one of the characters, G Gaspary Roberts, <gasps> which is a fucking insane name, who is a hotel detective in the black sky night sky, What? who is hired to investigate an anomaly in the North American wilderness. Huh? A hotel detective. I don't think that's a real thing. <laughs> And then there's like a character who comes from the moon and then a character, I think he comes over from England after being like exiled on a steamship. Oh, and it's set in 1912. <gasps> the War of 1912. I don't know. What? I also want to start, I'm in a book club. I'm in, it's a very exclusive, you can't join, you'll never be able to join, I'm so sorry. It's a book club with my two friends, plus Dua Lipa, Joe Biden, and we recently just accepted the Dalai Lama. No more members, I'm sorry, no. This month, we're reading The Brothers K by James, no, David James Duncan. Damn, that's like five books. <laughs> I never showed you what this was. Same old shit I always use. <laughs> I'm also gonna keep in that clip of me brushing my tongue. I have chronic white tongue, and I just want that to, to be proof. I brush my tongue. My tongue is just always white. I, it just wants to match my teeth, unlike you. Oh, I got a pink tongue. Good for you, but how about we talk about your brown wooden teeth? They're falling out. Um, and I just think we need more white tongue representation in the media, I guess. That's what I'm trying to say. Um.
one more time, one more try. I decided to take a last minute trip to this lagoon. I don't know. I honestly don't think I'm supposed to be in this water. I think it's quite dirty. I feel like I'm gonna get like a bacterial infection in my urethra, but it's um, it feels, it feels nice. Because I realized this is like the last weekend of summer. Cause after this, it's gonna start getting really cold and rainy. Mm. Shit. Still learning how to use the doors. I'm not doing well. <laughs> it's Sunday. I didn't record anything yesterday. I don't think. I was just doing like, I, I, I woke up at like noon. I felt really sick for like the majority of the day. And then I just spent most of the day doing like boring errands. I went to the post office. I got an oil change in my car. That was it. But today, today I'm feeling a lot better. I'm just not though. I always say that Sunday is the day of rest, but the thing is, is that all I really do is rest. So what is resting on top of resting? It's just kind of a recipe for depression. <laughs> so it's like four right now, and I've spent the entire day reading, and I'm at a point where I'm kind of just like, Hmm. It's not really my fault though entirely. I was planning on like going for a hike. Today's like the last hot day of summer or it was supposed to be. There's like a forest fire. Listen, where I live, I live on like the west coast, British Columbia, blah, 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 whatever. I live in Twilight area. Like they film Twilight where I, that's where I live. People always comment on my videos. You look at, look at Twilight, which is like literally yeah, yeah. Forks, I'm not kidding, is like three hours away. I want so bad. One day, one, one day we'll leave the world behind. That song sucks ass. One day I want to make a video where I read Midnight Sun because I made a video reading the Twilight series. <laughs> but I want to read Midnight Sun in Forks, Washington. I hate Twilight though. Like I'm not a fan of Twilight. <laughs> like I, it was painful reading that. Okay, I guess let's see what this fucking idiot does next. <laughs> Why the fuck are they going to Italy? <laughs> it doesn't make it. What the fuck? But I just think that might be fun. Funny, kind of, I don't know. The past few years, usually around August, forest fires start going crazy around where I live. The sky gets filled with smoke and you can't breathe when you go outside. But this summer, it's been very different. It hasn't been that hot, but just like two days ago, there was like a fire. So the sky is like filled with smoke. It's made the air not super breathable. So I haven't been outside, but I've been reading. I, last night I read to like the halfway mark of Crooked Kingdom. Bro, uh, I think the opposite of what happened with the first one is happening with this one, where like the first one, my expectations were really fucking low. They were really low. So I was pleasantly surprised when I really enjoyed it. But this one, I think my expectations were very high. I had people telling me that it was the best book they've ever read in their whole entire lives. Shug <laughs> Sugar silos? Sugar silos? Is that? 
what they're doing. I think the second half is gonna be really good, but I'm just kind of taking a break from it right now. But yesterday I also read a whole bunch of either or, plus today I'm on page like 271. I love this so much. <sighs> the main parts of the idiot that I loved, I feel like there's like more of in this. I don't know why, like this doesn't feel like a book that should be good. Reading it, it just like, what the fuck are you talking about? What is going on? It seems like Sally Rooney, but good. I think because it doesn't take itself so seriously. Like, so much more flavor and tenacity and stupid. It's stupid. It's so stupid. It's dumb. It's stupid. It's so fucking stupid. While also being extremely academic. There's just so many parts of this that I just read and I'm like, that is so fucking ridiculous. How did anyone think of that? What, like, who, th why? And then just now I started reading Sea of Tranquility. I don't know. I'm only on page 40, although this is only like 250 pages. It's one of those books that like, I don't know what they're called. I should probably learn what this genre is called, if there is a name for it, because I read so much of it. It's about like completely different characters and it just switches between the characters. And then I think in some way they're like connected. But in this case, I think that the place is really what it's about. So starting in 1912, there's a man. There is a man and a woman in 2020. And I think there's a woman from the moon in 20. 2020 oh lord 2203 and all of them travel to this spot this specific spot i think it's on vancouver island and for some reason the edwin saint august saint admin went there FBI, open up! <laughs> sorry that that last clip ended so abruptly I, I just, I had some unwanted visitors that I needed to get rid of. And then I'm probably just going to continue this vlog tomorrow. I still want to finish this and um, some other stuff. I only have one in class tomorrow, so. <laughs> Yo. Uh, can you go in the bed, Leo? Thank you. You'll be the director, okay? See? Just sit, just sit right there. That's my, um, that's my sound tech. my arm. I finished this. <sighs> yeah, I wasn't a fan. It turned out to be about time travel, which I've learned that I just don't like. I don't like any time traveling things because my brain, I guess, I just have like a really critical and like critical free thinker is what I would label myself as. With time travel, I think it's just impossible to do because there's always going to be a hole, something that doesn't make sense. This was kind of about a pandemic in like two of the characters' storylines. They even, <laughs> they even mentioned COVID-19. And I thought, ah, how fun is that? How fun is that? That, 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 that the past few years we've been in the COVID-19 pandemic and it's the only thing that I've been hearing about ever, all the time, constantly. <laughs> Now I have to read about it. I hated it. The second I saw COVID-19, I just thought, oh, Lord Jesus, take me out. I like scoffed. I was like, really? We're doing this now? It also was heavily linked to her previous book, The Glass Hotel. It didn't make any sense to me. Like why there was characters from The Glass Hotel in this book. It seemed like it, they really didn't need to be. And I feel like because of that, it felt kind of lazy, I guess, because it didn't add anything to the characters from The Glass Hotel. It was just like, here they are. This was also like time traveling futuristic sci-fi. So it was just strange adding that like science fiction element into their world. Plus in this book, they fully just spoil everything that happens in the Glass Hotel. Like there's a part near the end, it's probably like four paragraphs and they explain the whole plot of the Glass Hotel and like every single spoiler. I really enjoyed the Glass Hotel though. I think it also was just really short. It's like 250 pages and to have like so many characters and so many different plot lines, it got a little bit rushed and none of the character storylines I felt were fully fleshed out. I kept on wondering if I hadn't have read The Glass Hotel, would I have any idea what was going on here? And it's nowhere near a sequel to The Glass Hotel, it's more just like, let me, let me grab those characters and throw them here. But why though?
it just didn't work for me. So yeah, see you tranquility. I gave it like two stars. Thanks for hanging out. Talk to you later. I'm, I'm doing my best. <laughs> what? <laughs> what does that have to do with anything? I've got chronic white tongue.